How we doing, everyone? How we doing? Uh, vanilla, Ville, Vanilla Ville, Savoy, Perfumery. They they have they label it. They do some natural, some mixed. Look at the color on the juice. All oh, their juice is so delicious. Um, I have their window pane on today. Uh, both EDPs. Um, actually, the Vanilla Ville perfume. Signature draw. I'm back. Um, you guys don't know this, but three weeks I've been off. I'm just kicking this up again. We'll see how it goes. Little tweaks on the formatting. Lighting should be a bit better. A little more graphics on the videos. Learning stuff. I'm branded therapeutic fragrance. It's starting to just enjoy perfume more. This is a natural house I had. Um, I still have a couple other houses just. I mean, I have 100 samples just choosing through, but this is stuff that isn't covered. I want to cover. I like it. Creative stuff. See what they got. Anyway, stay tuned for the review. All right. Vanillaville, $185 for 30 ml. Uh, you can get four m four ml samples, ten ml samples. You can get this sample or or, or decants or whatever. Uh, I like how she does it. She makes it easy for you to get the perfume, uh, keep it in stock, especially because you know there's certain ones you want to wear, but you don't want thirty ml. But you want it handy for that couple times a year. Um, let, let's face, we have holidays, we have different things. I mean, it's nice to have that four ml sample. Just so you know, it's going to be there for five years. Don't have to worry about reformulations. Don't have to worry about it. You get what you love. You get what you sampled. You get what you like. Anyways, it's a nice thing. Uh, the only house I've seen doing it to that effect, that micro effect, I'm, I'm sure there's others. Anybody knows them, drop them in comments. This is an extrait de parfum. This is from the natural uh, section on her website. Uh, the juice is very dark, so be careful about staining. So here are notes. A dirty vanilla essence with an opening of sweet fennel, pink pepper, distinct pipe of tobacco, smoke and leather, touch of jasmine, almonds, vanilla, in the form of vanilla absolute organic vanilla bean tincture and uh, vanilla ola resin. Additional notes include Cepus Absolute, Retrified Birch, Coffee Absolute, Sandalwood, Amorous, Heliotrope, Benzoin, and Honey Absolute. So she's being very creative using this all natural. Um, I'm, I'm used to, to what you have to do. So she went all out to create just a luscious base accord. You can tell by the ingredients here. Let's see how it plays on skin. So this is a dream fragrance for the days where I just sit back and drink coffee, reading, lounging, uh, basically off days. Like I talk about my cycling and running, whatever. Um, when I go really hard, I have these days where I absolutely just don't want to do nothing. My legs are literally rebuilding themselves. This is a fragrance for those days. Just something natural, sweet on the skin to enjoy. It goes with anything. It would go with my cigars. Um, it would go, if I wanted to change it up, I talked about my tobacco layering um, to add even more uh, tobacco on this. It's in there. It's awesome. Um, but I have many days like that. Love to have 4ML for that reason. This is flat out one of the boldest openings I've come across. It, um, it opens up with an accord that is new to my nose. It, it's not boozy. It's not uh, in the form of alcohol, but it's that syrupy concentration uh, towards an alcohol without being alcoholish, <laughs> without the alcohol note, but just rich concentrated syrup um, opening with all the resins that are in it. Get ready for a huge fennel blast not like the fennel that grows in your yard that I've talked about in my backyard before. I love the aromatics of that more concentrated, more syrupy uh, fennel. The, the heavy licorice scent is drunken and condensed against natural vanilla that steps vanilla up 
in such a beautiful way. Unless you're really, really used to vanillas, this is going to be an eye opener for you. The way she used the resins of vanilla, the top of the vanilla, base of vanilla. She used all forms of vanilla to just saturate the, the scent. And the opening, you get all three. The base doesn't hide. So it's just this powerhouse of, of vanilla opening with the syrupy fennel. Boom. Good stuff. Some t pipe tobacco in there. And a heavy uh, pink pepper aromatic. Uh, on top of all of this opening, it, it's rich, rich, rich opening. I love it, but it's in your face as it gets. Once the sweetness starts fading into the skin, you start getting the notes of the tobacco uh, coming from the sillage. It does come out like the rich pipe tobacco she talked about. That's exactly the tobacco you're getting against the huge natural vanilla notes. There's no aromatic iso e or ambroxin to help you out here uh what you're used to in your your other tobacco vanillas on the market this is natural rich in your face it, i love it and the smoke uh in the heart starts to play the aromatic here over the pink pepper uh you get like a smoke effect off of off of the rich syrupy vanilla and pipe tobacco um Every other note is a bass note at this this uh, phase. The smoke's only chance to show itself is as on, on top of the whiff. An earthy love pops up from the bottom as we continue in the heart towards the dry down. It adds a much needed dirtiness uh, to the wear at this point. So we need just, just a level, a layer of, of dirtiness to the fragrance. After about two and a half hours on my skin, the whole con the whole concoction comes off as a uh, menthol liqueur resin note that I find myself very, very drawn to. Overall, this is a lesson on vanilla. It's aptly named perfectly, Vanilla Ville. Um, it, it shows us all the aspects of the vanilla bean and why it's a base note. I remember when I first got into this thing and saw vanilla, when I was studying the perfumes, as far as opening it up and saying vanilla is a base note, I'm like, really? This shows you why it's a base note. Um, she's using it as a heavy raisin, resin. It's also, it could be a heart, also could be a top. She uses them all three ways here. A lesson on the vanilla in this perfume. It's definitely a show and tell of the great ingredient vanilla. Never seen it done in all my sampling. Kudos to Savoy for that. My surprise in the fragrance was the fennel. Um, I, I love that, that change up. I love that note off the top and, and fading into the heart. I thought that was genius. Um, everything else that I read in the notes played as it should be, minus the, the whole lesson on vanilla that I talked about. Every other note just came in and played uh, normally, as you'd expect, a natural would. Actually, I take that back. The Sepes, the Sepes note was a also a, just a, a brilliant addition to tobacco vanilla, adding some creativity to it that a tobacco vanilla fragrance on the designer market could only dream of reaching these kind of depths. Anyways, scoring Vanillaville Savoy. Experience, 12 out of 15. Branding and originality, 4 out of 5. Projection and sillage, 4 out of 5. Longevity, a 4 out of 5. Composition, an 18 out of 20. Ingredients, a 21 out of 25. Top, 8 out of 10. Heart, 5 out of 5. The base, a 7 out of 10. Total square of 83. Bottle share of this. Grab the 4 ml. This can easily be a tobacco vanilla replacement in your collection. If you don't have one, it can be that tobacco fragrance for you. Your natural people now have a tobacco vanilla fragrance. Um, so whatever you use that for, that's what this is for. I could see me using it all year long. Uh, just on the days I talked about when you're filling a little tobacco vanilla-ish. Who do I see wearing this one? Neil Patrick Harris. And then I would go one to three sprays on this. It is an x -ray. Be careful of the clothes. Everyone, thanks for being on my journey. Thanks for helping me push perfume forward. Peace out and be blessed.